seven three four six three. If you have a number, you can you can call. Okay. You mentioned the congressional budget office. Right. You cut out the doctor's fix. The doctor's fix two hundred fifty billion didn't come under those people. The congressional budget office could only analyze what you put forward. And Obama cut out the doctor fix. Am I right? The doctor fix is always every single year. It's okay. not. It's not part of that bill. It's something that, it's a separate one. And it is up there every year. Okay. Now, you can tell I'm a senior. I don't believe in Santa Claus, and I don't believe cutting $500 billion out of my Medicare is going to give me the same service as time goes on. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't believe it. No way. Everything you're saying is correct. <laughs> you're a good lady. We needed health care. But what we got was a sham. It's a sham. When it all comes out, now Waxman is calling AT&T, Caterpillar, to Congress. Why is he calling them? Because they came out and said, it's going to cost us a billion dollars. We're going to have to let go of people. And Waxman's going to criticize these people. He's going to tell them to shut up. This is not the American way. This is not no. the American way. When you put the strong arm on people to vote for this bill, I mean, you know the corruption that was going on. The Louisiana fix, the Nebraska fix, Dodge Hospital, all these things. I mean, it goes on and on. What, ha what happened? If this health care bill was so good, and you've pointed out all the good things, and I'm all for them, it should have been in, done in steps, and the people would have had more confidence in it. But Obama stuck it to us. And I had it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me say that. I indicated that I, all my life, when I grew up with elderly in my house, my grandmother who had Alzheimer's and my great uncle who'd had a stroke and was blind, but his mind was fine. So I saw, you know, two sides of it. My mother and my family took care of them for many years along with other elderly people. I would never, ever vote in something that would hurt. And I looked at this and looked at this and looked at this. And I don't think that this is going to hurt your service. I truly do not. But you know, if, if it's not, if there's something that needs to be tweaked or something that needs to be changed, as I told you, this is the train out of the station and that I am fully committed to making sure. I was one of the ones that worked very hard on that, closing that donut hole and was there, you know, when, when we announced it, I mean, it's, it's been my baby to close the donut hole. So, how you can take out $500 so well, else. but you know what? If you, if you, I'm going to have my staff raise a hand, and if you go over and you give it, because there's other things in there too that I'd like you to look at. So, we'd be very happy to get back to you and, and show that, okay? But I am very, very committed to protecting seniors. I wouldn't, I never would have voted for it. So, that's the first part. And the second part is that, that whether you agree with the president or not, I, and I understand if you don't. I mean, I do. I would say that his intention was not what, the way you just interpreted it. The intention was to provide the health care. And every, every, well, you know, every president, as I indicated, every single president for 100 years, seven presidents have tried to deliver health care. And, and some and came close. You know, some came close and others didn't, right? Right from, from the first efforts. So this is not something that this president just thought up. This is something that has been on the table in one form or another for many years. So I, you know, let's see, okay? Well, you give us your name, if you will. We'll send the information to you. And then let's see. But I am telling you that I would not vote for something. And I indicated that I was not going to vote for it if they had left that Ben Nelson amendment in. I thought that was just awful. And, you know, sometimes people do things when you're in a group. If, say you work with some people and, and certain people do things that aren't right. You're embarrassed by it, but you didn't do it. You know, and I was embarrassed even though I'm not even in the Senate. I thought it was outrageous. But I didn't do it. And, and when it came back to the House, that was part of the whole reconciliation. We said, that is not going to fly. That's not going to fly. How, how could you ever think that that would be fair to give one state an exemption like that? 
Yeah, that, when we're the United States, that means that we're united. It doesn't mean that one state has it. So what I'm saying is that it's not perfect, and there are things in there that certainly you know, were pulled out or should have been pulled out, but we'll be back again and again and again on this. So, and in the meantime, you know, I am pledged to watch out for senior citizens. That's It's that, not that's perfect why the big rush should get it pushed through. Well, I wouldn't call, I just couldn't call all those years a rush. The, ah. when, when people say, when people say, well, take your time, that really was the insurance company saying take your time, but what they really meant was just kill it because they didn't want it. So this has not been a rush. 